It's hard to be a warrior if you've never been through war. It's hard to be a hero if you've never been through hell. But God, I thank you that one year later, we're still standing and we're still serving. And so it's appropriate that we gather here on the one year anniversary of the first COVID positive admission to Long Island Jewish Medical Center. The first person of what has now turned out to be thousands more. We were confronted by an opponent that we didn't know. We weren't accustomed to it. We hadn't encountered it before. We didn't know how to deal with it. And despite that, our frontline teams stepped up, threw themselves into it. As mentally and physically exhausting as the past year has been, it has been a great privilege to stand together, much like the figures in this beautiful painting. Their faces display courage. Their fists are the size of superheroes. They are locked in arms, and their strength is in each other. They guard the precious light of life behind them. So let's recall the numbers of people that we saved, the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who came in here in dire circumstance, unbelievably worried, families worried, but because of the great work of everybody here and across the health system, they went home. I got intubated April 25th, two days after I gave birth to Leon, because my COVID got worse. But thanks to God, thanks to everyone over here, LAJ was so great. I'm here with my family right now. I can't make it without you guys. And I will be forever thankful. Today we gather with a message of hope as we near the end of the second wave in New York. Hope, because we now have three vaccines available to back up our teams in the fight against COVID-19.